Right, everybody, uh, you've never been on this road before. This road is going to another borehole that's been giving us uphill. Um, on this farm, they call it number seven. There's some more butte bumps along here, so please excuse it. Um, it's, it's a nice paddock. I go horse riding in this paddock. Um, along this, well, this is, the, we've just got into num a paddock called number seven now, um, but it's got the cutest little look. If you can see on that side there, there's a cute little um, copy thing. We're just about to come into the open, so you won't have all this whole um, nice rock and another lump. I love this dead tree that's coming up on the left. It's very cute. Um, but there's a mother of all bumps in front of it. And talking about the mother of all bumps, yesterday when I went across to go and sort out the generator, there's like oil and all sorts of things on the bottom of it, and I saved a bale, a proper face plant splat, by putting my calf in the way, and I am going to have the mother of all bruises, bumps on my calf in a few days' time. Right now it's just looking pretty soggy and yucky, but in a few days' time it's going to be a beaut. That's nice and puffetry. Um, okay, well, when I said we were going to get to the open ground, I, I didn't realize that this bush was quite so thick. So there is a bit of, there you go, that's a bit of open ground there. This is actually on the way to the auction. We walk our cattle this way to get to the auction and the auction is happening on Thursday. So I'm told, even with shutdown, we're going to be selling cattle at the auction. I hate going to the auctions. It absolutely terrifies the life out of me. You know, when you sell on the auctions, it's all the whim of the buyers. So if you just don't get the right buyers that day, you get a terrible price. And, oops, that was a horrible sound. So isn't this a cute flay? There's some rocks on this side. Let me open this window. There's some rocks there and a bit of a flay. Let's to drive straight. And that's quite pretty there. Colours in autumn are beautiful. The, um, I'm told those trees, which I think you can see one, the trees that are going yellow in a lot of the photos that I've been taking are called Nondo, which, which I always thought was another name from Sasa. Um, but it appears not and then I was told also we in Fort Rickson where I come from we have a, a tree which there they call it Mgondi which is also a kind of msasa as far as I can work out so that's the road I'm not going to use whoops crazy ow um, because it's like a tractor road um, so that the borehole that we're going to is going to be a turn off very soon to the right as you can see Metopus is really dry this side of number seven is not so bad because there's not so much water this side you know there's a river here but it doesn't um oh look there's a coral see if i can catch it on the video there he is oh no flew away sorry i think that oh this is an old look see now there we're looking, the, we're the direction that we're looking in right now is, is Fig Tree. If you carry on straight, sort of, on this road, you'll get to Fig Tree, and which is on the main road to Plum Tree. Um, can you hear the guys on the back? There's a heap of people on the back of my car. We're here to take a borehole out. Now, the other day, a submersible. The other day, I took a submersible out with me driving the car. We attached the top of the submersible to the car and two blokes. No, I think there's one, two, three, four, there's six of them. Plus me and the car. And Lizzie. I wonder how Lizzie sneaked into the car. Hey Liz. Hmm? You're supposed to be looking after your puppies. Oops, my windscreen needs a clean. Shame, you guys are getting a view through a dirty windscreen. I'll try and clean it now. So you can see the power line coming up. This power line is where the borehole is. And I'm going to say goodbye to you as soon as I have arrived because I've then got to do things, so um, goodbye.